A slowing economy, rising interest rates, richly valued stock markets, labor shortages, supply chain issues, there's no lack of head spinning headlines. I'm Mark Kinney, Chief Investment Officer of Newport Private Wealth with your third quarter update. Whether it's paying more for gas, shifting pandemic regulations, or simply not being able to travel as we used to, life keeps throwing us curveballs. But while much continues to be unclear, all of us have adjusted nearly everything, including our expectations. Throughout all of this, one thing holds true, Newport is prepared for whatever lies ahead. As we look back on the last year, we've been reminded that having patience and a long-term vision are critical. Our patience is certainly being rewarded today. That's why I'm pleased to bring you this third quarter's update. Today, I'll cover three things. The importance of having a consistent approach that is time-tested, the investment decisions we've made and how they're reflected in your portfolio, and the market conditions we're paying close attention to and how Newport responds in this environment. Many of you watching this update have been longtime Newport clients. Some of you may have recently joined the Newport family. Wherever you sit on that spectrum, we think it's always helpful to review our investment process and approach. That's particularly true in times of extreme volatility and uncertainty. It's important that you understand what drives our performance. It ensures that you can be confident and comfortable about how your money is being managed. And on that note, we're delighted to report that our client portfolios have delivered strong returns year to date, outperforming our benchmarks with less risk. We set performance target ranges every year for each mandate. To the end of Q3, they have all exceeded the high end of those target ranges. That can be attributed primarily to our diversified yield strategy in lieu of traditional bond investments. So how do we make these decisions? If you're a business owner, you know the value in having a strategic plan to follow. When circumstances force you to look at the plan and modify it, it's the tactics that change. The underlying principles of your enterprise, what is core to the business, remain the same. Our investment process is much like that. Our portfolios are strategically positioned for the long term, and we have safeguards in place to ensure we can both protect and fine tune to capitalize on market conditions. We use a disciplined investment process, which is focused on striking a balance between risk and reward. From a positioning standpoint, our five proprietary portfolios, each with a different mix of income and growth focused investments, are actively managed. Decision making responsibility does not reside with a single person. All investment decisions require a unanimous vote from our 12 member investment committee. We can see the impact of this approach in the performance of the Newport Balance Fund to the end of the third quarter. Diversifying the yield producing portion of our portfolio away from the public bond market remains a priority for the investment committee in this low interest rate environment. Rather than rely on the bond market exclusively, we have added investments in income producing real estate, private debt, mortgages, and high dividend paying stocks. Collectively, they produce significantly higher levels of income with less interest rate risk. With global equity markets at an all-time high and bond yields at record lows, there is a strong case to remain in private markets for better portfolio diversification. We expect returns from public markets may be more moderate going forward, so believe private markets offer better risk return trade-offs. Newport's investment activity underscores this approach and highlights a unique cross-section of opportunities. We've been nimble in making active decisions that have added quite a bit of value. Through one of our U.S. multifamily real estate managers, we currently have exposure to a portfolio with over 18,000 units across seven southern states. Characterized by pro-business, pro-housing environments, these markets enable the creation of strong long-term housing affordability, in turn leading to economic stability. Rents across the portfolio have experienced significant growth over the past six months. New lease rents are averaging 18 to 20% higher than occupied units, and occupancy is running at a healthy 
Kane Anderson, a new manager added this year, is a U.S. real estate focused private lender. They're invested in alternative real estate sectors, including medical offices, high end seniors housing, off campus student and multifamily housing, and self storage. Kane Anderson creates strong risk adjusted returns by focusing on cash yield and increasing value through cash flow growth. They do this while remaining sensitive to capital preservation. We have now made a couple of investments with them, including a US 35 million allocation this quarter. We expect this relationship to grow over time. Diversification does two things. It helps reduce the portfolio's reaction to volatile market swings, and it wins when narrow asset classes like stocks and bonds are struggling. That's our advantage today, and we believe it will continue to be an advantage we'll hold in the future as well. On the growth side of the equation, we've been making ongoing strategic cash allocations to our specialty managers throughout the year. Given valuations and the ongoing pandemic, we are not increasing our allocation to the public equity markets as a percentage of our total portfolio. We're holding equities for balance mandates at 45%, with an emphasis on those that pay reliable dividends. Our growth managers buy companies with a risk management framework in mind, and part of that is entry price. But that is only one part of the equation. Sound business fundamentals, value creation over the long term, predictable cash flow generation, sustainable returns on capital, attractive growth opportunities, and experienced management teams make up the rest. One of our growth managers, Edgepoint, put it this way, looking at the 2021 returns, the grass has become much greener, yet neither the gardeners nor the tools changed. We simply remain true to our proven long-term investment approach. We're often asked how we choose our managers. The analogy I like to use is that of a general contractor or family physician. Our investment committee is the generalist and it oversees a roster of more than 35 third-party specialists, managers to whom we have allocated our capital for their specific expertise. We believe the best outcomes are achieved when we can build established and long-standing relationships with best-in-class managers. At the same time, we continue to assess new managers and asset classes. One such manager, Pagaya, was added to our roster this quarter. Pagaya is a data-driven asset manager that uses artificial intelligence to process consumer loans from a network of lending partners. They have a unique technology platform and a strong leadership team that is disrupting this sector. We made a US 20 million allocation to Pagaya in Q3 and like the addition of this FinTech asset class. Everyone is paying attention to the headlines. It's what they take away from them that differs. Inflation seems to be the most pressing issue today. What we're hearing from you is that you're seeing the real life impacts, both big and small, of more persistent inflation because of supply chain issues. This story illustrates that perfectly. One of Newport's clients recently discovered her oven wasn't working. After calling an appliance repair service, she was told that the oven needed a new part. The problem was that the part was on back order and would take more than a year to arrive, so she bought a new oven. Certainly a scenario many of us would never have imagined even a year ago. As we have seen, concerns about inflation are not new. That doesn't mean we won't watch this closely. We can't predict what will happen. What we can do is plan for all eventualities. It's why we focus on diversified cash flows so that your portfolios are well positioned in both low and high growth environments. We're prepared for whatever lies ahead. With a cash balance just above 10%, we have ample reserves that would be insulated from a correction and that can be used to take advantage of any market weakness. The takeaway for Newport is that now is the time to protect and preserve capital. At the same time, will continue to assess opportunities as they arise. In football, it's often said that defense wins championships. Having a diversified portfolio is our best defense for long-term wins and protecting capital. 
We also identify when we can go on the offense and take advantage of opportunities. Knowing when to do both is what we spend a lot of time and effort thinking about. Maintaining a game plan that you understand and believe in and sticking to it is key. As Warren Buffett has famously said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Great investments take time. We project for the long term and are smart about paying attention to the factors that might affect that long term view. We understand you are planning for both today and tomorrow, and it's our job to keep an eye on both horizons. We thank you for your trust, your loyalty, and for the investment values we all share. On behalf of everyone at Newport, be well and safe in the months ahead. We look forward to providing you with our next update in the new year.